Since the first invented amplifier, designers have been constantly fighting input signal distortions generated by amplifiers. However, distortions turned out to be good. They gave birth to such devices as guitar effects processor. It is clear what food beaters and guitar effects processors serve for, but how do they work? This is definitely an interesting question. To begin with, let's make it clear what signals guitars produce. A guitar penetrates and generates harmonic oscillations of different frequencies. If we take one pitch, a guitar, electric or semi-hollow, will produce something like sine wave oscillations. This is a clear sound, and food beaters or guitar effects processors change such sound. The food beater has its own signal amplifier inside, which plays two important roles. Firstly, it reduces noise, and secondly, it changes sound with the help of capacitors, resistors, and transistors. Let's consider the most primitive option providing for limiting the amplitudes. This is how the distortion food beta works. Distortion is a music effect produced by way of strictly limiting the signal amplitude. Respective devices are also called distortions. They find wide application in hardcore metal or punk rock combined with electric guitars. Such an effect is similar to clipping, which actually is a subcase of the distortion effect. This effect is implemented through a tube or transistor amplifiers that can add harmonic distortions to a signal, especially if such signal is close to the maximum possible signal of a certain amplifier. As compared with simple clipping produced by primitive limiting devices, the overdrive, especially produced by a tube multi-stage amplifier, produces an output signal whose spectral components depend on the input signal's amplitude and spectrum. As a rule, overdrive sound produced by tube amplifiers is better than that of transistor amplifiers as a great number of harmonic components occur within a distorted single spectrum. Each harmonic component is a sine wave oscillation whose frequency is more than a keynote and multiple of it. High harmonic components go beyond the audio range and have low oscillation amplitude. That's why they can be ignored. By repetition facts, harmonic components fall under even and odd. Even harmonics are in tune with each other and the keynote, thus making the tone color deeper and more textured. For instance, the frequency of the third harmonic is three times as much as the keynote. It corresponds to the note which is a quint away from the keynote in an octave. Actually, such a harmonic is in tune with the keynote, but if there are a number of tones at the same time, it may disharmonize with the other principal note and its harmonics. Thus, odd harmonics of high order are less musical and, so to say, contaminate the sound. Recently, digital overdrive simulations and emulations have earned a great deal of popularity. Overdrive is created by special sound processing software. Such software implements proprietary algorithms for imitating analog distortions and tube amplifiers. Now popular processor manufacturers such as Analog Devices Company offer reasonable priced boards with powerful processor units fit for digital signal processing and with high quality analog to digital and digital to analog converters, RAM, ROM, C, debugger or assembler debugger. These are actually ready-made guitar effects processor kits with no software. You can develop software on your own or download any software from the Internet.